jump right into today's video. But we got to get the link up so that we can um we got to get the link up so that we can get it out to the text notification squad and then we'll go live on all of the other platforms. So, as you see from the title and as the image on the side reveals, right? Ah, the Filipinas are abandoning the movement. They're turning on one another. <laughs> this is, you know what? Listen, this is like the Tasmanian devil. I remember when I was a little girl and I used to watch the Tasmanian devil. Shout out to, to all of us old school people who remember Looney Tunes from back in the days. Um, You remember the Tasmanian devil? He used to spin around and wherever he would spin, it would be all of this chaos and dust kicking up. You know what? Before we listen, listen, let's just let's just get this link and then we're going to get live on all these other platforms and then we'll talk about it because this is like <laughs> this is like, hey, welcome in, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right. So the link. Hold on. Let me get into the studio and get the link. Welcome in, everybody. If you'd like to be able to make sure that you're here for all of the live shows so that you never miss it, you know, especially the people who are coming in from my clips channel and you're like, well, how do I be a part of the live show? What I'm doing right now is making sure that the people who are on the text notification squad get their notification so that they are here because sometimes YouTube unsubscribes people and all types of things go on. So I'm just getting the thumbnail up, saving that. Listen, listen, listen. We're going to jump into the conversation in just a moment. I just got to get this link together. And then we are going to go forth. You know, listen, a lot more. This is, I, somebody said I was just going to sit back that I called it a few days ago. Oh, that's about a lot more than just the passport bros, baby. It's all of life. You know, you just sit back and let it unfold because what happens in the dark shall come to the light. And, you know, sometimes we spend so much time trying to make sure that people get their just desserts and all of that. And what, you know, we live in a fair and just world and the rise of the feminine is is upon us so text notification squad be on the lookout your text is out of here right into your thing and then i'm getting ready to send the free notification for those of you who want to be able to get notifications but um the because the text notification squad there's a fee it's a nominal fee like two bucks a month plus um some fees or twenty dollars a year or fifty dollars a year or five bucks a month if if you're international. So yeah, so that has gone out. So there are ways for, for everyone to be served. All right, so let's go ahead and get live on all of these platforms because this is a whole entire boondoggle. Go ahead and share this because there's a lot of videos that I want us to see as well as <laughs> a Papa Black man who, um, who orchestrated all of this, who may have been, who may have been, <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Let's just go ahead. There's the text right there. Let's just go ahead and get live on all these platforms. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Come on. All right. Here we go. We are live on Twitch. We're live on Twitter. We're live on Facebook. We're live on LinkedIn. And of course, you know, we are live on YouTube. Hello, Knockouts. Tanya TKO here. And as you know, I am a self-love specialist from TanyaTKO.com. I help you learn how to love yourselves and one another. On this channel, we use viral videos as teachable moments for what self-love looks like or doesn't look like in your life. And you may be asking, how do the Passport Bros uh, relate to self-love? Well, my core base are black women in the United States. I have, of course, with cheekbones like this, I got fans in South Africa. I'm worldwide with a booty like this. I got fans in Ghana, Hey, Cause you know, I'm African-American. So there's so many of us, just a consortium of blackness all mixed up into one. Happy, happy, happy uh, Black History Month, everybody. But listen, today we're talking about the Passport Bros and the self-love lesson for black women here is really to just be true to yourself. 
to do the internal work and when people are trying to attack you and tear you down that you have to continue to put one foot in front of the other we did a video just a few short weeks ago just a few short weeks ago right and in the video there were some filipinas that were in the video attacking black women calling us hyenas while simultaneously using using black girl slang talking about clapping back and hey girl and stuff like that and you know they wanted to they was calling the, the black man kang and all of this but you know for those of you listen i i should be right before we came on air on all the platforms i was giving a shout out to all the old heads who are familiar with looney tunes you all remember looney tunes and you remember the tasmanian devil and wherever he would go he would he would bring dust and chaos and all of that and this is a telltale this is what is happening in real life wherever you go there you are American men, black men decided that they didn't want to work on themselves internally. They wanted to go overseas to find a victim. Black women tried to warn them, but they were like, oh, you're calling us uneducated. Oh, you know what? I could let them tell you. <clears throat> I could let them, I could show you better than, than I can tell you. You all remember this? <laughs> is a screenshot for you right there you all remember this right remember she was calling black women hyenas and because black remember oh do i need to go back to the beginning where black women tried to warn them where they tried to warn them so here's here's the girl look why ain't it playing oh my goodness tanya get your stuff together get your stuff together girl all right so come on <clears throat> Let's see. You Let's see. Oh, oh my goodness. From bros to cane. That yeah. you don't have to strain your ears because Hold on, hold you on. You say hold they're on. talking about she's talk, she's calling people. Uh -huh. Let me just woman, I'm trying I, to I don't know if she's serious. I'm trying to rewind it. Let's say, let the choir. Let the choir say Hameen. Let the choir say Hameen. Listen. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Listen. Brace yourselves. Brace. Why ain't it playing? Oh, come on. You see it says bros to kings on there. Victims of the hyena. Oh my goodness. Why ain't it playing? Oh my God, this come thing on. is acting stupid. Come you on. You see it says bros to kings on there. Technologies. Let me is it, is Mercury in retrograde? Let me know. Because so, I'm tr okay. Here, 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 here. Here, listen, here we go. Here let me, we go. Let me, let me go. Let me go back and 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 pull this up now that it's playing. So a hyena asked me, "Girl, if you think we are the hyenas in the Western world, what do you call those passport bros, huh?" Well, obviously they are the victims of the hyenas. So a hyena asked me. Girl, if you think we are the hyenas in the Western You know something? I gotta get the volume up on If you think we are the hyenas in the Western world, what do you call those passport bros, huh? Well, obviously, they are the victims of the hyenas. So, a hyena asked me, Girl, if you think we are... <laughs> All right. So you all remember that, right? You remember that. You remember that black girls came out trying to warn these women. I, on this video, on my Facebook page, the Filipinas are still coming out there trying to attack me for even doing this video when I was like, listen, have them take them no backseas. And they were like, they called us an edgy, this, that, and the other. And black women were trying to explain that the men are not seeking out educated women. They're seeking out victims, but they didn't want to hear us. They know that we're unprotected. If you're glad you're catching a live, that means you're not on the text notification squad and you need to go get squatted up so you make sure you get your text. Nonetheless, the black women tried to warn them 
Remember the the but then they started they started talking about the black women's hair, calling them bald and all this stuff. It was too much. They were going off, but they have had a change of heart. I just wanted to show you the background so that you can see that that girl was out there calling people hyenas. I want to show you her humble her face after she's had humble pie, right? I want to show you her face after she's had humble pie. So this is so I'm just giving you a little backstory because this video that I did is an entertaining video, but it's two hours long. So you can go and watch that if you go into the gym and you spend an hour on whatever you're doing, just do the hour there. Then or if you're driving to work or you got your commute on the bus or train or you flying, put your ear your earphones in and listen, I do long form content so that you can have stuff to do at work or while you're cleaning up or all of that. So look, I want you to just get some context. So here, so you remember the, the young black women who came out and they were trying to help these girls. Mm, here. For, For you, you bozos, bozos that's going, that's going overseas, overseas to sleep, sleep with, with women, women from, from third, third world, world countries, countries because, because they, they, don't they don't know, know no better, better right? right? They, they only know, know that you're American. American. They don't, they know, don't know that, that you're broke. broke. As expected, she blocked my ass after I left a couple of comments on her dusty page. Um, but really, I want to know where these girls are getting their information from. <laughs> we have been called poor, uneducated, can barely speak English, and now she's saying that girls from third world countries does not know any better? Like, where are you getting all of this? And she, this particular woman here, this one here, let me tell you, just remember this face. Her name is, is Joanne. She's beefing with the hyena slayer now. And so now they got beef. This is what I'm telling you, like the Tasmanian devil, wherever they go, chaos follows. So now she was talking, remember she was cracking her knuckles, talking about hurting people with her teeth and stuff. I've only seen one video of a white girl talking bs about girls from third world countries but, but listen i've seen a lot a lot of black girls talking bs about us discriminating girls from poor You've countries been discriminated against and you know what's funny these are the people who's crying for racism and discrimination in the united states of fucking america you you don't want to get discriminated, but you discriminate another race? That's what you call self-entitlement. And no, sweetheart, we, we, we are not going to do it that way. If you want to be a self-righteous person, fix your wig first. It looks nasty. You see this? Not a wig. Smooth, silky, straight. A natural hair of a Filipina. So so you see, she went and started attacking racial characteristics, right? So when these women come back one by one, talking about, oh, the passport bros made me do it, because I'm going to watch the videos with you all for the first time, so I don't know what exactly it is that they're saying. I just know that they had a change of heart. But I can only imagine they're going to be like, the PP boys made me do it. Oh, I didn't know. Listen. <clears throat> I'm going to go to a break. When we go to the... I'm not going to go to a break right now, but when we do go to the break, I'm going to pull up a, a photographer from the way back in the days. Did a photo... He did a whole thing on the Aborigines of the Philippines. Girl, I know your secret. I am your mother. You come from me. Listen. So when you start attacking black women, you're really, you're attacking the womb from which you came. But they know that the white man who also colonized the Philippines, so listen, the white man who also colonized the Philippines has created this hierarchy where black people on the bottom and patriarchy puts women on the bottom. So black women are an easy target. We're unprotected by our men in the media. And so they know they can say whatever it is that they want to say without catching the backlash. As a matter of fact, catch accolades, right? So from, listen, from these donkey kangs, right? Who made you say that? Who made you attack racial features? Talking about, do you see this? It's smooth. You see this? 
it's coily. You see this? This is the waves. You see this? I mean, it's like, it's unbelievable. So nonetheless, so I just want you to remember, remember this young lady, well, remember this woman, because the days of youth are gone, my dear. <laughs> Even though you're trying to hold on, the days of youth are gone. So this, this big grown woman here, right? Just remember, just remember. And she was going on so again, and on. I'm not an angel. You insult my kind, I'm going to clap back. <clears throat> you heard the word clap back, right? You heard the word clap back, uh-huh. All while using Negroid slang, you see it, right? We make it popular and then they copy it while insulting us. Ah, you heard it. Stop. Because I know how to hurt people with my mouth. I mean, with I them do. jagged ass teeth, you do look like you know how to hurt people with their mouth. <laughs> oh, Lord, I didn't say that out loud. Oh. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that. I didn't mean to see that. I didn't mean to say that. Anyway, anyway, so, so, you know, I just wanted you to get some contact. She responded to a white girl cracking up her knuckles and all of this at the, at the woman, right? So nonetheless, I want you to go watch that video because we're going to get into this change of heart. So, so you were, so, so now, so watch that video because I had a, a lot of different Filipinas and then everybody started dogpiling on black women. But now all of a sudden, the Filipinas one by one are abandoning the bros, right? They're abandoning the bros. Oh, listen, listen. There's 600 people here on YouTube. You all can do better than this. Share this in your WhatsApp groups. Share this on Instagram. Take a few moments to do this right now because we're about to get into the, the videos where these women are turning on one another and they're having a change of heart and they, they, they're backtracking, backpedaling and running for dear life. Listen, listen, they're running for dear life. And you know what? <clears throat> And so, listen, oh, oh, Rello's in the building. Hmm, yeah. Mm. For those of you who don't know, Rello is the person who was begging for $100, claiming that it was a social experiment. Oh, Rello, I pulled your file. This is why the Filipino women are backtracking. When they get a load of the criminality, hmm that is flying overseas. Oh, they will run for their lives. Run, run, run for their lives. Oh, yes, they will. Huh. So don't you worry. I'm going to gather you like a sack of laundry, Rello, because I pulled your file. And oh, just don't, just you wait. Because once this broadcast is over, I'm sending out another text because we're going to read that file word for word for the people so that they can understand the type of human beings that are going overseas. So that they can understand the type of human being that you are. The type of human being that disrespected a girl on live, a girl who had given you her body for the, for the, for the, for the placation and for the, for the, for the laugh of men riled up in the comments. Don't you worry. I'm going to gather you, Rello, like a sack of dirty laundry. Watch and see. When this video is over, I want everybody to come right back because the moment that I press end on this video, I'm starting a new one. Text notification squad, you will get a text because we are going to, like I said, gather, gather word for word. So you better go run to your channel right now and you better go read it for yourself over there because I'm going to read it over here. You better go admit. Nonetheless, let us go ahead. Let us go ahead and jump into the girls running, backtracking, once they realized the dereliction that was coming in on their airplanes, landing with piles of dust surrounding them. Oh, you just wait and see. Oh, look, 
Let's listen. <clears throat> and you know, when I do back-to-back -back lives, YouTube doesn't send out the notification to everyone. So if you're not on the text notification squad, make sure that you join. It's $1.99. Go to www.tanyatko.com forward slash T-E-X-T. Text is right there. $1.99 per month or $22 for the whole year. So less than the cost of a, of a large pizza, you can get text whenever I go live so you never miss a broadcast, whether I go at midnight or 6 a.m. in the morning or right now. So listen, <clears throat> I got this up right now. Let's take a look and see. <clears throat> if you're not subscribed or you're new here, make sure that you subscribe so that you can find me again. Oh, I got some tea that I am pretty sure that you guys will be interested in. Now, I was in on a live the other night where one of the Filipino girls was talking to her passport pookies in the chat. And she is telling them that she no longer wants to be part of their drama. So it looks like there is some breakdown in the passport pookie movement. Let's watch. No, I didn't blame anything. I did not blame anything. I just said, we need to stop. We need to stop. Let's just continue and focus on finding a good woman in the Philippines. La la la, we're gonna go to the Philippines. We're gonna be in the la la land. You have no idea. When you go there, you really think that you're gonna be safe right away? No! <laughs> Heck no! You're, you're gonna be like... That's why I don't wanna say... I don't want to like do this anymore because you always want me to say things that it's on your side but you also have to know that there's also bad and uh, cons about going to the Philippines and I keep talking about this long time ago I'm not quitting on you guys I'm not I just want you to understand that if I want to stop this if I want to stop the drama Look at her face. Look at the humility in her face. She looked like she begging. Where's that hyena slayer energy, Helga? <laughs> Drama, you have to support me on that. I don't want you getting against me because if you like me, if you believe that I'm a good person, that your heart is telling you and if you want me to inspire you to find a good Filipina then be on my side I mean I <laughs> she really thinks that they were going over there looking for a quote-unquote good Filipina is she joking you have you see the thing oh oh my god oh my god oh my god I'm gonna say this and you're going to take this as an insult I already know, right? I, you're going to take it as an insult, but I have to say it. I have to say it. Women of a culture tried to warn you and say that these men were going over there looking for women who were uneducated, who were not very smart, who were desperate, who had low standards, right? The women of the culture who know those men. But in return, you came out and you said, who you calling uneducated? You said we not intelligent. You said we not smart. You said we did this stuff. Well, dear. You're not going to be happy with what it is that I'm saying, but you prove the stereotype right. Not even the stereotype, you prove the warning right. You were not well versed on who these men were. Not intuitive or in have the huh, the wisdom to consult the women of their culture. You may have been bribed and you may have done this out of desperation. Where was the lie that the women told? Where was the lie? It's like, were you not, I mean, come on. Uh, it's like, 
<laughs> Where was the lie that the women told? Because if you, if I mean, you, you, you showed your hand, and you showed your hand as not being one that is, that was a, a, a flush girl. You showed your hand, and it wasn't a full house. It was a bunch of miscellaneous cards in there, apparently. I'm not asking you to be on my side. Just support me if you're my loyal um, followers. Loyal? Because the thing is, you really think... Yo! You think a group of men who are disrespecting women who look just like them and attacking the geno and phenotype of those women, you think those men are loyal? Or you thought that they were going to be loyal to you because you were a quote-unquote preference or the preference du jour? But you didn't see how one by one women of all different races in the United States were trying to warn you all? Black women, white women, Asian women, Latina women, all different types of women tried to warn you. And you're going to talk about if you're my loyal what? If a man will attack a woman who looks like his mother, sister, and himself, what the, what the H? Girl, see, this is the reason why you should have listened. But you know what? No backseas. They're yours now, girl. You better take them and keep them. Girl, those are yours. Keep them. I think that all Filipinas are good. You really think that a lot of them are not scammers? Of course they are. There are many bad Filipinas as many bad women in the Philippines too. Don't think that all Filipinas are angels. Because some of them, they act way worse than Western women too. And mm. to those who are supporting my decision, thank you so much. I hope that <laughs> to to Joanne, if you can, if you are here, I hope that you can have a peace of mind in your heart. You know, <laughs> I don't hate you. I don't hate her. I just don't know why she started hating me when I didn't do anything. <laughs> And it's funny because she literally um, posts my past videos in the past. And then she filter a few words of my recent video about me don't want to argue or or wants to, don't want to support the fights anymore. I said, I don't want to support, support the fights. Then, but then you know how people will say, oh my God, she's not supporting Passport Bros anymore. As we suspected, Passport Pookies were telling them what to say and pressuring them to defend them like real alpha males. I'm glad that this girl is no longer going to be a pendeja and letting these no value men use her. Woo! Good for you. Oh, I got some tea that I am. Woo! But you know what? We got more. We got more. We got more. <laughs> Jagged Joanne. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> you all are a mess. All right. There's more. There's more. There's more. Should we jump into her next video? I haven't watched this one at all. With her eating humble pie? Or should we play some other videos? Oh, no. Let's jump right into hers. Let's let's so see what we have here. Have asked me. Halga, are you against passport bros now? And my answer is, no, I am not against passport bros. I understand that passport bros are going to certain countries mm. to find certain the women. Dust. But I mentioned in the past many times that I don't fully support all the passport bros. You know why? Because not all of them are kings. Meaning, not all passport bros are going to the Philippines or certain countries to find quality women. Wow. And guys, I got tired of fights and arguments here on social media. You know why? Because it's overwhelming and it's never ending. And as I mentioned in the past, I was guilty of that too. And the thing that I don't like and appreciate is, I don't appreciate those men who are going too far. So you guys, if you want to go to the Philippines or in Asia to find certain women because you appreciate their culture and other things, you can do that. Yes, you can. But we... <laughs> when did they ever say they appreciated your culture? Ask them what the name of the language is that you speak. 
Ask them for some history about the doggone Philippines. Ask them something. That's not what they're talking about. They're talking about finding gullible women and... Helga Babushka! You were gullible! You were gullible! What, just admit it! You were gullible! You fell for the okie doke! But listen, no backseas. They are yours. You keep them. No backseas. We should stop bashing and degrading all the women in the Western world, especially black women. Many of the passport bros and the other men are going way, way too far. It's too far that you have no respect for women in general. Oh, I mean, it's shit. okay to compare. Oh, shit. Excuse my language. So now she's just now realizing that they have no respect for women. Dear, what gave it away? Is it the passport bros beginning to capital M word? These, these, these women and young ladies? Is that it? Is it passport bros jumping on lives, degrading women who have had intercourse with them in another language, mind you, speaking to their followers, disrespecting them, right? It was that it? Was it them disrespecting women who share the same genealogy and, and phenotype as them? Was that it? Or was it the fact that they were looking for women who to be mats, not mates? Come on. So you talk, you talking about they went too far. Dear, from the time that you opened up your mouth, calling women animals, hyenas, you went too far. You're a grown woman of sound mind. And even if they paid you, you gave up your integrity. You put your name and your face, your voice, and your likeness on the line, engaging in derelict behavior. You did that. You. The women tried to warn you out of the kindness of their heart. Your mothers. Hmm. Listen, your mothers tried to warn you. Yeah, I am your mother. Yeah. We tried to warn. Well, I didn't try to warn anyone because I said keep them. I didn't try to warn nobody because that ain't my place. Because as a woman, as a womb holder, you have to be a keeper of the womb. You have to know how to how to vet and how to regulate who comes in and out of you, right? And part of the vetting is talking to the women, having a code among womb holders, having a code. Like when, when I was doing my research, right? I talk woman to woman. I will get another woman on camera and have her look me in the eyes and tell me what the truth is. Because women are, by and large, very different than men. But any woman who aligns herself with testicle toters, then look, what, what do I have for you, girl? If you align yourself with testicle toters against womb holders, then, then you lay down with dogs and you what? What is the saying? You lay down with dogs and what? You got it. You get up with fleas. You get up with fleas. So let's, let's, let's continue forward. Compare the difference between Asian or Filipinas versus uh, black women. Compare uh, the difference between Hold on, Asian I just wanted to rewind us a little. All the women in the Western world, especially black women. Many of the passport bros and the other men are going way, way too far. It's too far that you have no respect for women in general. I mean, it's okay to compare the difference between Asian or Filipinas versus... No, it's not okay to compare the difference, dear. Because women are women. Women all over the world want the same things. They want to be loved. They want to be honored. They want to be cared for. They want to be protected. But you fell for the okie doke because... In your own country, somebody mentioned in the comments anti-blackness in the Philippines. Womb from whence you came, my dear. And you figured that you were above black women. 
So when a person makes the comparison, you're like, oh, yeah, of course, we're above them. Of course. Because when they were doing their attacks, when they were pulling on their hair, and when they were trying to make fun of people's features, they weren't doing that to white women. They weren't. Because they know that in the hierarchy of, of, of whatever, that white is supposedly the standard of beauty. Oh, it's just, listen. And those who were in closest to proximity to whiteness, but you, you, you thought you had an easy mark, right? Uh, don't you get it? There is no end to this. If you get with a man who is anti-black and you give birth to a child with his DNA, where does that leave you? If you get with a woman who is anti-black, what do you think is going to happen to your fluffy-headed little kids? It's like it just doesn't make any sense, especially when you leave them. That little child is going to have their head dragged all around, snatched up with brushes because they're growing dreadlocks because the mother doesn't even know how to comb, to just run a comb through her hair. Ah! Ah! Whatever. This, uh, black women or Western women, that's okay. But when we are putting all the Western women, especially black women, down by degrading them and disrespecting them, then that's unacceptable. You can't say all black women are because that is not true. You say a lot of disrespecting words against black women. But you have to understand that your great-great-grandmother, your grandmother, your mother, your sister, your daughters are black. So when you say black Hold on, hold the F up. No, the F she isn't. You want to know whose great-great-grandmother is black, dear? You want to know whose great-great-grandmother is black? Oh, my God. Listen, I'm going to go to a commercial break because I'm going to pull up this website with the documentation. I mean, look at her face. If she were browner, how, who would she look like? This is what I'm saying, daughter. Womb from which you came. I just can't believe this. Let, let me jump to a commercial break so that I can pull up this thing for you and then we'll finish listening to her video. But she's talking about great, great, grand. Dear, your great, great grandmother is black. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. <sighs> Are you tired of missing Tanya TKO's live videos? Arriving late when the video is well underway or about to end? Are you fatigued of only seeing a live video randomly while perusing YouTube and Facebook? Or worse, are you randomly unsubscribed? Well now, you can get a text notification whenever I go live. No longer are we dependent on the algorithm of these fitness platforms. For just $1.99 a month US and Canada or $4.99 a month international, you get a personalized text message 15 minutes before each live show. Now, you can show up early with the text squad, meet other people from all over the world, and get invited to secret broadcasts off platform. Most importantly, support your favorite independent creator. Go to tinytko.com and click on text. Join the TKO Tech Squad today for just $1.99 a month US and Canada, $22 a year if you pay in advance, $4.99 a month international, $50 a year if you pay in advance. You'll never again be tardy to the party. I'll see you on the next broadcast. TanyaTKO.com forward slash Are you tired of this? Hey, what's going on? I'm still trying to. I'm still trying to grab this link. Give me just one second. I'm still trying to grab this link. All right. <clears throat> you know what? All you have to do. Oh, wow. Mm -mm -mm. You know what? As a matter of fact, I just Googled. All I did was Google history of black Philippines. And this is what came up right here. Right. This is what came up when I Googled it. So let's take let's take let's take a quick look at this, right? The indigenous black Filipinos, right? Look, but this is more modern. I want to show you the black and white pictures, the indigenous, indigenous black Filipinos. That's what I want to show you, right? I want to show you the indigenous, indigenous, indigenous. That's what I want to show you. It's listen. It's like all of these people hating where it is that they came from. Mm, mm, mm. Hating 
from whence they came. It's unbelievable. Uh, I'm looking for, you know what? I can't, let me, let me, let me, let me. Oh, oh, you, oh, oh, you didn't, you all didn't know that? <sighs> you all didn't know that? Oh, well, you know what? Listen, let me, let me just tell, listen. And then from what it is that I hear, I hear that they treat these people, the black people, very poorly in the Philippines. This is what I hear. This is what I hear. Let me see. I'm trying to find the... I'm trying to find the... Um, damn it. I'm going to have to... You know what? I showed it in one of my other videos. Which other video did I show that in? Damn. I'm going to have to find it. But nonetheless, let's get back to her video. And then we're going to read the apples. I really want to find that. I really want to find that. But, you know, it's like sometimes you see something. I wish I would have saved the link. I'm so mad that I didn't. I had it in my recent history. And it was because I was like, I was like, oh, my goodness. The aborigine, the aboriginal Filipinos were black. And I was like, oh, I didn't realize that. But let's get back to her video and while she's talking, I'm going to be looking for that, that page because I want you all to see this. You have to see that in this video. You have to. And I wish I could remember the video that I talked about it in. Dang, 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 dang. But I can't. So let's just continue to go forward because I don't want to hold it up anymore. And then I'm going to check the apples. And then we're going to go from there. Women this, black women that. You're including your entire relatives. But you're not thinking that your daughter is also black. And that is why I want to stop this drama because for me, it is not right anymore, guys. I have so much respect for quality men, especially black men. But it doesn't mean I have to disrespect all black women. Number one person who inspired me a lot is Oprah. And therefore, I have so much respect for <laughs> Oprah because I consider her my god. And my late husband, Tupac, he has a lot of respect. What the fuck is going on here? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> what the, what the, I'm trying to find this thing and I can't even concentrate because she's saying Oprah is her God and Tupac is her deceased husband. Yo, there's some, listen, there's some, there's some stuff going on, but I don't know what it is. Listen, this is, I don't know what's going on. For certain women, especially his mom. So we need to stop degrading women now. Just go to the Philippines or Asia to find the women of your dream. Okay, guys, I still love you. So a lot oh, of people... Oh, okay, so she's still trying to stay in good graces so she could try to get them little cash apps sent to her or whatever it is that they doing to line her pocket so that so that she stays putting out foolishness. But you think that they got any time for you once they can't mule you anymore? Let's see how much they care about you once you can once you're not going to mule for them, once you're not going to be their donkey. It's like, come on, it's just unbelievable. Un un unbelievable. But you know what? Let's jump into the cash apps. And then from there, I hope, I hope I find this link. I hope I find this link. I don't know how I'm gonna find it now that I'm live, though. I promise to save the link this time. This is too much. <laughs> battery low all right let's take a look and see what we have here all right so if you want to send a cash app through the link is in the description um i'll also put it right here uh it is here because there are 1400 people on youtube 100 on facebook if every if if, if one out of every four people sent a dollar if every person sent a dollar, that would really support the broadcast. So it's www.cashcash.app forward slash dollar sign Tanya TKO. And it is a verified Cash App account, so you know you're sending it to the right place. All right. And it's just like it's spelled on the screen. You see going across over here, Tanya TKO. All right. So let's take a look. Danny sends 1111 and says, love the lip combo. Thank you. This is going to be in the lip pack that is going to be out in about two months where I'm just working on 
the packaging, the um the lipsticks are um I've already we've already formulated the colors and all of that and um and they're going to go into production this coming week. So <clears throat> absolutely. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, I got popcorn stuck in my throat as I'm trying to read. Give me just one second. Mm, mm, mm. All right. Here we go. So Donnie sends $5 and says, first time cash app, 1010. Hey, thank you, Donnie. Shanir sends $10 and says, always on point. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Brittany says, first time cash apple. Uh-oh, that's two first time cash apples we got in there. Gina says, uh, sends a dollar and says, Negros Occidental, Oriental and the Ati people. All right, I'm going to Google that. Negros Occidental, okay. Finance Diva sends 333 three, three and says, no backseas. Absolutely, they're yours now. You better keep them. Shonitra sends 20 and says, doing the Lord's work. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. James sends $3 and says, Tupac husband, Jada P, going to whip her ASS. <laughs> it's too funny. Nicola sends a dollar and says, check Telegram for links. Oh, wonderful. Thank you, my dear. I appreciate that. Lunda sends $10. Thank you, Lunda. What an interesting name. How unique. How unique. Uh, let's see. Sam sends a dollar and says, my, my one out of four people, thanks for your content. Oh, you're so sweet, Sammy. Thank you. Patriot sends 1111 and says, always love you and your content. Thank you. I appreciate that. Crystal sends a dollar. Tawana sends $2 and says for support. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. So we're going to come back to the apples. I checked all of those. Let me see if I can grab the link from Telegram. You know, Text Notification Squad hooked me up. Oh, you did it. You know what? I love you all so much. I'm so glad. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, this is different than the original, than the link that I had. Let me check the other link that you sent. Let's see. I think, is this it? Oh, I got some tea. Sorry, I pressed the button by mistake. Oh, look at this. Here, 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 here. Take a look at this. These have some of the original pictures that I saw. So let's take a look at, at this right here, right? Look at this little cutie pie. These are the aboriginal, um, the black presence in the Philippines. Look at, look at, look, look, look. This is what I'm saying. When you look at their facial features, you know, Eve Jean, you come from me. Ugh. But they want to try to separate themselves from the blackness. Vanessa's Oprah's daughter, listen, I hear you. Everybody could be somebody, right? So take a look at this little cutie pie. Look at the curly hair. Take a look at the wide nose, the full lips. Look at the, look at the hair. All that cotton and wool. Look, take a look. This is, and you could pause to read if you need to, or you could just go to the Atlanta Black Star and look up the article, The Presence in the Philippines. And let me see if there's another link, because, okay, so, oh, look, oh, she hooked me up. There's a lot of links. Let's, 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 let's go back. Let's go back. Let's take a look. Look at this. The Scientist Indigenous Filipino Group has highest known, what is this? Denisovan ancestry. I don't mean, know what Denisovan is, but look at their faces. So it's like you want to try to separate yourself from whence you came, but you can't because it's right there. We are, we are you. You are our children, and I understand the the temptation, the impulse to want to come back into the blackness, but I don't understand the temptation to want to attack blackness, to attack that from whence you came. It's very strange, but you know what? I have other videos to show you because wait until you get a load of the, the Papa, Papa, in, in, Papa instigator himself, the one who orchestrated this. He says, he says that he is the, um, the person who did all of this. He, he, he gathered up the passport bros. 
and got and got the women to give them some act right, right? This is him. Some of you know him. I I knew him from African Diaspora Network, but now he has some troll show where he is being awfully manispiric and rude to women. But listen, listen. I want to apologize for believing this lie that I can have it all, that I don't need a man, that children are a burden, that my career is more important than anything, that my bank account um, can replace a person being a husband for me. I'm so sorry that I was this feminist, that media, movies, songs, uh, influencers were convincing me that I can do everything by myself and that being feminine and vulnerable was the wrong thing to do and um, that I can choose to be masculine when it's a role that I don't want, I'm not qualified for, and therefore I cannot tell men what to do. So I just want to apologize for my part in it, for believing all this BS. And um, Look at his face, you know, we'll, he's we'll so do more healing smug. On our and women. Look at his face. He's so smug because, listen, I don't know the context of this panel of women. They sound like a joke, mia mia. It sounds like jokes they're making. But there's some women up there apologizing for being feminist, right? And look at his face. He's smug. He's smug, Because uh, we're going to have these children, so we need to get it together. And if I have a boy and I have that mentality, like, I would never want to convince my son that... He has to, you know, downplay his masculinity to make a woman feel comfortable. Not okay. So I'm just... Well, fellas, why all of a sudden this, this kind of conversation starting to pop up on the radar? Y'all see the effects. See, I told y'all months ago, last year, matter of fact, I said that the reason why I really support a lot of you men getting your passports and leaving and saying I'm leaving because you are too out of line, you're too masculine, you worry more about a career than a family. Like she said, children are a burden. You don't want to be married or whatever. You, you're telling these women, this is why I'm leaving and I'm out. And I told you that if enough of you keep doing it and actually being loud with it, because actually being loud with it is a good thing. Being loud about it is going to slowly start correcting the ecosystem. <laughs> he told them to be loud about it. Where is the black woman on that panel? Where's the black woman? He got, I, who, where? He's talking about, he told them to be loud about it. And listen, I want you to hear his rationale. I want you to hear his rationale. Listen. In, in the Western world. Now that they're recognizing it because you guys are leaving, now. Somebody says they don't know what happened to Phil. Listen, let me explain something to you. Some of you black women are too easy. Hmm. It doesn't take much to get your allegiance and loyalty from some of these pander beers. It doesn't. All it takes is some flowery words. I showed you all a video just this past week of a snake amongst us pretending to be BWE. I showed his long criminal history of domestic violence, harassment, or all types of orders of protection against him, even psychotic... Uh, what is the word? Fabrication of stories, forging documents, all of that. And black women are still supporting this person. Even had a black woman come out to attack me on his behalf, claiming that he showed her text messages of I gyal, beautiful woman that me is, Mother Earth, me, that I was throwing myself at that, please. And the black woman, says that she saw, this is what I'm hearing, because I didn't watch the, 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 the stuff myself. I just, people are just telling me, oh, you got to watch this. I said, no, don't, just click. Click don't recommend channel. Just go about your business. Just ignore, disengage and ignore. <laughs> this person claims that this you know, human sent her text message, images of text messages. Girl, this man forged federal documents trying to get a pension from the U.S. Army. Is your mod? He, listen, you think he won't try to change some fake text messages? Use your head. L listen, look at me and look at him. That's all you got to do. Look at me and look at him, please. Please, please, use your common sense. But you're saying you don't know what happened to this man. This was always in him. It's just that you all don't ask enough questions. But when Tanya starts asking questions, you're like, why are you, why are you gonna ask so many questions? Why you gotta grill them? Why you, because when they fold like, 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 huh, when they fold like a shirt in the Chinese laundry, right? When you start asking them questions and they crumple, right? 
then you know, listen, they, they don't, they don't have you. Listen, you can fool some of the people some of the time, but you can't fool all of the people all of the time. You cannot. And I just so happen to, I just so happen to be one of those people who's really good at weeding and rooting out. So listen, make sure that you are on some form of my mailing list because I am creating a card game. I am creating a card game for you to be able to take these questions, necessary questions. And then on the back of the card game is going to be the, you're going to be able to decode. Where's my decoder? This is the prototype of the decoder. You're going to be able to decode how to, how to interpret their answer. I'm very good at that. I'm excellent at what it is that I do. People told me I should have been a lawyer. I did apply to a, a joint MBA, JD program. But when all was said and done, I was like, uh, do I really want to be a lawyer? Mm. So nonetheless, so here I am. And now I use all of my skills, my skill of psychology, my skill of research, my skill of cross-examining. I use all of that right here on YouTube. Huh. So listen, listen, listen. Let's go finish hearing what the former panda bear you were saying because he told he told them to be loud about their leaving. I just want you to hear this mess for yourself. I just want I just want you to hear this. Just listen. Oh, you need to leave more. More of you need to leave. Don't so this this is one play they're gonna do. They're gonna say this. And sometimes that, that, that simp gene in, in a lot of you may activate and like you want to come save them because they're talking like that. Oh, this is all I wanted. I just wanted you. No, 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 no. Listen, it's you like see, this is, oh, and drinking too, Lord of mercy. So you see what he's saying. He's saying the quiet part out loud because I guess he forgets that he's speaking to a national audience or an international audience. Boy, are you serious? You just admitted that black women is what they truly want. But you see, <laughs> they want us to try to come down to their level. <laughs> listen, listen, you know, hear me. You know, hear me. Are you hearing what it is that I'm saying? They wanted us to lower and bow down. This is what he's telling you. Oh, do, you need to continue to leave and, and tell them that you're leaving loudly. Listen, listen, don't listen to him. Don't announce you're leaving. Just please go. Go grab your little stick. Tie your handkerchief around it. Put yourself some crusty bread and cheese in there. Go grab some of your holy socks. Listen, we know you're not using toilet tissue. You don't know how to wipe. You ain't using washcloths either. So just go put your holy socks, your, your, your dilapidated, your, your heel caved in, look like apple turnover shoes inside there, and just get to stepping. Go. You don't have to, listen, do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Just go, just go, just go. You don't have to say nothing, just leave. Just go. But you see what it is that they were doing. It's like, remember that, that, that TikTok that went viral of the little boy who was like, oh my goodness, did the girl not know me on live? I mean, Ross, I need to put my phone in, um, I'm sorry, I need to put my phone in Do Not Disturb. Girl, Listen, remember, remember that TikTok that went viral where, where, where the little boy was like, I'm leaving because of something. The mother wasn't making the food that he wanted for dinner. He said he was leaving and the mother was like, okay, well, here's your knapsack and I'll see you later. And the boy walked out the door. He was looking back and then he got up the, up the driveway and then he started crying and running back. He was like, oh. That's how they are. Just go. Just go. You don't have to announce nothing. Just go. <sighs> Person that's an alcoholic. And then they say, you know, I realize drinking is wrong. It's something I shouldn't be doing. It's hurt me. X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. And then if you believe they're completely off of it and they didn't give you a time to show you they're free of alcohol, right? They have to prove to you they're free of alcohol. So these women that's talking, or these modern women that's coming to this realization because you men are leaving, they have to have a time to show you that they mean what they say. Don't run to the rescue. Well, let's continue. <laughs> yeah, um, I know that just from everything that I see, it just seems so discouraging right now to be a man and to have like accusations just flung at you um, in every direction in the media. But I feel like there are a lot of us women that are starting to wake up to this and we're starting to see through the lies of the media. We're smart. You only woke up because of this. And you know what? You need to keep on waking up because them planes are moving, baby. Them planes are moving.
And men keep going, keep going to the passport office, get your passport and get up on out of here, get on out. Cause they, because they, they, because they got to have a time to, 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 to wallow in, in the choices that they made. Cause they made choices <laughs> for a long time. They went decades. This guy, this guy can't be serious. This guy cannot be serious. This guy cannot be serious. Oh my God, this is good TV here. I I feel like pulling my popcorn back out, but I know I gotta keep, you know, ugh, this is too much. With this feminism, and I believe you men need to have decades of leaving. And we're, we're catching on. This is not gonna be a forever thing, I believe, um, where men are, you know, really thrown away so much. Um, so there are a lot of women who are starting to understand what's going on and we're leaving this feminist movement, me included. Um, and I believe that, uh, you know, you just have to, just believe that if you're looking for a woman who's understanding as, and he's, who's not going to emasculate you, we are out there and there are a lot of us. You just like, um, like Alana was saying, don't settle just because you think they're not out there and that you can't find someone who's going to give you the respect that you deserve. Um, yeah. Well, fellas, y'all are starting to purge out feminism. Y'all are purging it out by leaving. <laughs> y'all leaving and it's having an effect. These women are starting to say, I don't want nothing to do with feminism no more because I am seeing the result of the men leaving. Now, some of you are thinking, why didn't I do this sooner? Why? Why didn't this happen sooner? Why did I beg them and all of that? I told y'all when they had a monopoly. Of <laughs> I'm thinking, why didn't you do that sooner too? Yes. Listen, listen, listen. If there's anybody who needs instructions on how to get their passport so that these other women can deal with the dust, this is why I didn't say nothing. When these other women were coming out trying to warn them, I did not say nothing. I said I supported. People were even talking about me in videos. They were like, what the hell? Tanya says she supports the passport bros movement. You got them right. I support it. Get out. Get the hell out of here. Get out. Get. Get. <laughs> I remember. Because, you know, my father, my father is Caribbean. And we were in an island and there was, you know, goats. So I had planted, I planted these little trees on, on the property because I wanted the trees to grow because I planted my favorite fruit. My favorite fruit, oh my God, I love star apple, the sweet one. The sour one is nice for drink, but you know, my, my favorite, sour sap and star apple. So I planted little trees and these damn goats came onto the property to chew down my little what the, my little cutting that's what you call a tree that you can plant into the ground like you you splice it some the the treeologist does it the arbalist or whatever they called right and and i remember hearing my father shooing off the goats and he was like get 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 out of here <laughs> that's how i feel right now talking to these pa passport bros get get on out of here here that's how i feel don't stop D just pass go don't you ain't gonna collect 200 dollars. i mean unless you on your live begging for it but just get out of here just go my god you don't this, this is too much this is but this is good stuff over you and you, they felt you had no choice you had to put up with they mess now they see that you got a choice and now you can get on out of here and yes, go on to get on out of here and go on to a better quality of life all the way around. It's not having to do with the women, just all the way around a better quality of life. Mm. Because I know some of you guys go and date or whatever, but my purpose of telling you this is for you to go find a woman that you can love and, and make a family with. Because I don't support mm. the tricking. I don't support tricking in no country. Okay. I think that's a waste of money and time. Even oh. if it is legal, I think it's a waste of money and time. I think you should find one woman that's for you, right? Oh, so he's supporting But these women are going to start waking up and realize how feminism played them. And you men are straightening up society by what you're doing. So keep doing it. Because now you have been labeled the men that's upwardly mobile. Understand? You that's been what they're being that. labeled. And that's what, who these women Passport want. They want pookies. upwardly mobile men. And those men are checking out. So all they're going to be left with is men who aren't in that category. And they don't want those men. So yeah, they're going to have to start stra strafing themselves up. But it's going to take a long time for that to happen. And they're going to have to make a lot of drastic changes in that time period. So you guys keep leaving. Don't stop now. Don't let them wave the white flag and say, okay, okay, okay. We get it. No, 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 no. You don't get it. Nope, nope, nope. You chose that life. You chose it. You want to go to family court, put men on child support that didn't deserve to be on child support. You're leaving marriages at 75% rate. You 
you know, child support and the system is, is so great. It actually is a great system. You know, they, they have a website and everything is tracked. And you just go, you, you, you pay through the website. The mother gets, you know, what it is that she needs. But I don't understand this whole anger about taking care of your children, especially with it being documented. That's better for everyone around so that everyone knows what is what, when is what, and all of that. There's no, yeah, it's just, it's, it's a weird anti-flex. It's, it's strange. You are, not the men. Men aren't leaving their, their families. It's the women that's leaving their families. You want to go put a man on alimony? You want to do all this stuff to men in court? Ruin a man. Put this man to the point that he don't even know if he's coming or going. These men say, I'm not dealing with it. If you're serious, then you go reverse all them laws that's on the books. How about that if you're serious? Do you hear this? He wants women not to have bank accounts and go back into the days of old and reverse all the laws that have helped women to be able to get some, some semblance of partial equity. This is bizarre. I didn't watch this video, so this is Tell them no more alimony. How about that? Tell them no more no-fault divorce. Tell them that. Go no tell more no-fault divorce? I don't even know what that is, but that sounds... No-fault divorce sounds like no one's at fault. You just get out clean, right? Just go with your sanity. Instead of telling men to be better so that their women don't want to leave them, it's like they're not listening to women. He's he's going off talking about the money that 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 <clears throat> that these men they oh you're considered upwardly mobile and that's what women want. Women want men who are communicative and who are in tune with her as a human being and who views her as more than just a, a thing, an entity to be used for his pleasure, a, a marry a maid. Women want more than, than what the marital system has been. And women are waking up into the fact that they're duped. And the fact that 80% of divorce is filed by women isn't a wake up call for them. The fact that women are preferring to be single. Listen, I have a lot of shorts on my other page that you need to see where scientists and sociologists are coming out, breaking down what is going on with society. The scientists and sociologists talk about how the data shows that men are not fit to lead, that men cannot compete with women in the school system, and that women are, and, and women are surpassing men and men are falling behind, that men don't have good self-governance. They can't, that they're not just great. Go to my other page. It's www.youtube.com dot com forward slash at Tanya TKO clips and go look at some of the clips over there. They're short over there. We do long form content on this channel, but on the other channel, we do short clips. But go and look at that. Why is it that they're not listening? Now the Filipinas. So so what they th they've gone through every community in the United States. First it was white girls and I want that Becky and that they 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 mo freaky and all this and the other. Then they went over there and abandoned the children in that community at a rate of 92%, right? So if that number is not right, correct me in the comments, right? Then from there they went to they tried the Asian women. Asian women were like um no sir, right? And then now they're like, oh, well, they tried the Latinas. Remember the spicy Latinas and everybody wanted a preference. They tried the biracial women. They tried all of the, they burned through every single community. They went over to China. A passport bro is on, is, is about to get the firing squad for unaliving a student he became obsessed with, claiming she was his girlfriend, but had no proof that she, that she was his girlfriend. Right. He unalived her. Now he's about to face the firing squad. Another passport bro unalived a famous Colombian DJ. Right. Like people are waking up. Austin Holloman went over to Brazil and made a whole complete a double S of himself, making national news for his 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 degeneracy over there, taking PPP loans. Lord of mercy. Go watch those videos. Just type passport bros and Tanya TKO. And, and and just go go look at all of the videos that I've done in this series, right? And then they so they went to Brazil. Then they then they went to Thailand. The Thai girl was slapping Holloman up. 
Now they're in the Philippines and the Filipinas were first calling us hyenas. Then they got wind of the fact that they got the same black man. And then now all of a sudden, now all of a sudden, the Filipinas are coming out and they're like, no, 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 no. This is no bueno, no bueno. And they're like, no, I, I don't want to be a part of this. Uh-uh. In these child support laws, how a man going to pay a child support and you're taking his driving license away? You're taking away his ability to register his car. You know what I'm saying? How is that? How, how he's going to get to work? Oh, you can do Uber. Why should he be doing that? Uber costs money. And, it's, and it went up. Care they, for your kids and you won't have back child support. I don't understand. This is why, oh, you know what? This is why he wants them to get off of child support because I think they take away your passport too, don't they? Or is that just for felons? Hmm. They serious felons. They reverse everything that, that has harmed the, the, the man and woman relationship. And until they do that, they're not serious, fellas. They're not serious no matter what they say. It don't matter if they start podcasts and disagreeing with everything you say. Don't fall for that either because a lot of that's game too. A lot of that's game to get super chats from you, but they really don't mean it. Don't, don't, don't ever think this white flag they're waving is it, it, them conceding because it's not. They're only going to concede when the laws are changed in society to match the laws that's in those other countries that y'all going to. That's more beneficial for wow. family. He said Not the this quiet part out that loud. Is. But let me know what y'all think about, you know, this video. Wow. He said the quiet part out loud that he that they want to go to countries that have lax laws of age of consent, domestic violence and mobility and motility of women. This is unbelievable. So he said the quiet part out loud. You know what? Let's check these apples again. And then I have some more videos that I want to show you. I have some more videos that I want to show you. Mm, 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 mm. So let's check these real quick. All right. So, <clears throat> all right. Erica, Erica sends four and says, gather all the dirty laundry. You doggone right about that. Mm -hmm. Alicia sends $2. Claire sends two and says, they have a high teen pregnancy rate. 12 is legal age. Didn't I just mention that, didn't I? Just mentioned that. So 12 was the age of consent. I heard that they just recently increased it in the Philippines from, from 12 to 16. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, here he go. It, I'm not reading this out loud on my earwaves. This it was already up on the screen for you all. Shreblon sends $5 and says, first time cash app. Well, you know we got three time first time cash apples. So you know what that means. You know what that means. I got to bust a little wine for you all. Hey! Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> thank you, 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 thank you. I appreciate all of the apples. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Denisha sends $2 and says, Oprah, not God. Tupac don't know you. You delusional. You know, well, you knew that she was living in a world of delusion by the time she started calling women hyenas. You knew she was for them, for those dudes. You knew she wasn't too right. I could tell from the look in her eyes. Karima sends a dollar and says, keep bringing the fire. Londa sends $5 and says, thank you, Tanya, just for being you. Thank you, I appreciate that. Gina sends a dollar and says, whiteness is required and blackness is to be fixed. That's interesting. I guess we're talking about the colorism aspect of all of this. Tisha sends $10 and says, you skipped my apple. Did I? I apologize. Let me go into the screen and see the apple that I missed. Okay, here. All right, so here it is. So she says, uh-oh, Bookie, keep that same energy. No refunds. Hey, exactly. Exactly. My bad. I'm sorry for, for, missing, for missing that. My bad, my bad. All right, so it looks like, let's see. Let's see if there's, let me just give you a heart right here so I can keep up. And then we will come back to the apples in just a moment because I have some more videos that I want to show you. 
We have 1,500 people on... This is my second largest um, live. The first largest live that I had had 3,000 people on it. And this was... I forget which... Oh, I think it was when Kitten Heels um, passed away. Mm, 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 yeah. Yeah, so this is my second largest live. So I appreciate all of you for being here. If this is your first time here, I am Tanya TKO. I'm a self-love specialist. And if you're not subscribed to the page, make sure that you subscribe. And um, I think that's pretty much it. Subscribe, write a comment, share the video if you so feel. Thumbs up the video if you're enjoying it. And then let's jump into the next video because I have a lot of things that I want to show you. Uh, let's see. Because yesterday I forgot to show you all some other videos. Oh, this is what I want to show you. I want <laughs> this video is too funny. Let me let me get this up on the screen for you all. <clears throat> People began to wake up, right? Let me see what. Here, people began to wake up. So this is this is a let's see. Let's get this right. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. You and any other cousin that wants these Viagra villains can live happily ever after. Just keep black women's names out your mouth. Say what? Huh? Uh -huh. Look, cousin that? that wants these Viagra villains. And guess what? Gonna give you a little message. Check it. You and any other cousin that wants these Viagra villains can live happily ever after. Just keep black women's names out your mouth. Say what? Huh? Mm -hmm. Look, if you want to date someone from the low-quality crusade, by all means do it. Just be quiet about it. You do not have to bring up black women to date any of these low-quality kings. If you want these patchy beer pirates, by all means have them. Just shut the fuck up about it. You sound like the white girls who flex on us about taking our Filipino men. You know, the Pinoy men we don't fucking want. But look, if you're on a quest for a green card, all power to you. You and any other cousin that wants these Viagra villains can live happily ever after. Oh, yeah. Just keep black women's names out your mouth. You heard Ooh, it. child, listen here, listen here. So that's one woman here. Let's let's play, let's play another. Let's play another video for you all. Let's play another one for you all. Because I think it's important for you to see, right? Um, there's this where's my I have my I had my video queued up, but it's quite all right. It's quite all right. Um here. Why are they here? Here, right here. Mm -mm. Even surprised their men leaving when they are the one who is causing it. This was an interesting thing to wake up to. I'm not entirely sure why the white women are pressed, but I could only offer my perspective as a Filipino born woman who grew up in the Western world. Now, my issue with these specific guys that move to these countries, especially the Philippines, um, to find a wife or a girlfriend is simply this. Often than not, these dudes are predators, creeps, and pedophiles. The Philippines unfortunately being a huge target given that they've only recently raised the age of consent from 12 to 16. And yeah, us Filipino women are awesome, we're absolute goddesses, and if you want to take on the role as a traditional housewife, then more power to you, I totally respect that. But the issue isn't Western women trying to drive them away with feminism. The issue is that these men don't see us as people, only toys for their own using. Why are they even Did you surprised? hear that? So, smart Filipino women had to come out. Because you see, what happened is white women and then Asian, Latinas, they, and you know, TikTok is one of the worst platforms. I just want to bash them real quick because there was an amazing video. I don't know if any of you saw it and you could pass it to me. Like, they take down videos so much if somebody has a problem with it. There was an amazing video from a woman who was, she was Colombiana or Venezuelano, one of those. And she was sitting at a table. She was um, sitting at a table and she was talking about the passport bros. And she was like, listen, ladies, please be smart. 
Um, these men are coming over here to use you, et cetera, et cetera. And then she gave the message in Spanish and then she translated into English for anybody who was listening. And the video was so, well, oh, it was so poignant. But then when I went back to go get the video to bring it to this one, it was taken down. So it's like, sometimes you can't even save the original video. It's like you have to save one of the duets and other people have to duet it a lot because then the original be gone. But there's another video that I want to show you by a black man. And I thought this was important to show you guys because, uh, let's see. This is it right here. So a lot Oh, this has our girl in it, the same girl who had the change of heart. So I don't watch her stuff, and I did not watch her stuff, and I felt that her stuff was a little too lowbrow for me, right? But here, so take a look. A lot of black women DM me and told me to stop talking about black men. Listen, there is nothing more unattractive to me than anti-blackness. There is nothing more unattractive to me than anti-blackness. If you say you love black men, you better also be saying that you love black women. You cannot throw shade on black women or hate on black women and then say you love black men because black men come from black women. You cannot say you love me and hate my mother or throw petty jabs at my daughter or disrespect the legacy of my grandmother. Black men, if a woman from another race is trying to appeal to you by throwing black women under the bus, run. That is not love. That's fetishization. Women from other races. If a black man is trying to appeal to you by throwing black women under the bus, run. That is not love. That is misogyny. So a lot of well, black well, women well, well, DM well, me and told me. Well, 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 well. So he came out and he spoke a word that you don't really hear from black men. And you know, it's unfortunate that... I'm just going to say keep that part to myself, but <clears throat> but he said it. So we got to appreciate the fact that he said it, right? But this is not a sentiment that you hear very often. Far too often you see these men dripping at the dick to be able to 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 get black women to be bashed by these women, by these other women. It's very bizarre if you ask me. It's like how how do you all roll around with black women's names in your mouth, kissing each other and rolling in the bed like, oh, black women, oh. Well, you know, we are your mothers, right? <laughs> Daughter. So, but that's, that's really kind of weird to be thinking about us while you were together. It's like, just go do your thing. If you want to be together, just go be together. I don't understand why you got to bring all of this other stuff into it. Right. Because remember, they were dogpiling on us, but it took Asian women to correct other Asian women. And then they started just. They started they started to self-correct and started to open up their eyes. But you know what? One by one, they all going to learn one by one. So listen, listen, listen. Let me just make sure that these are all of the videos. Let me check my tabs because last night I had an important video I wanted to add to the thing and I did not add it. So that's it. We got we got the whole video done and we are out of here for the time being. What we're going to do is I'm going to ask you all to type what is the self-love lesson that you learned from today's video? We saw a few different videos today. So I'm going to get the self-love lessons for you. Now is the time to get the last cash apples in. If you want to join the text notification squad so you get a notification for when I come live to do the laundry. Huh. To do the laundry. Huh. And you all know from the beginning part of this show what laundry I'm going to do. Because I'm about to gather somebody up like a, like a pile of old clothes. Yes. SLL, what is the self-love lesson that you learned from today's video? Send your last cash apples in after the self-love lessons. I'm going to read the apples. Then we're going to get out of here and then we're going to come right back because I'm going to go get my files together and we're going to, to take care of some, some housekeeping. So listen, SLL, right? What is the self-love lesson that you learned from today's video? Let's see.
I want to see SLL. What is the self love lesson that you learned from today's video? Mm. 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 SLL, be careful what you wish for. Bronx Bayou says she loves my makeup. Thank you. Somebody asked me if I would bring the vegan makeup pack back. I do have two kits, two packs on my website right now. So, and I'm, mm, let the P bros go. The crime rates will go down and we'll get some peace without their mess. SLL never, it went by too quickly. Never stop feeding your mind with positive knowledge. Fat Tongue Phil got some big... I'm not reading this. What are you talking about? Keep black women name out your mouth. Althea's talking about what she missed. We have the self-love lesson. You, we done with the video now. Be patient with dumb A's. What on earth? SLL sip tea while BM take the skies. You know, that's right. Are taking to the skies. All right, let's see. SLL, vet, 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 all men. Mm-hmm. They not into building their own. They interested in going to another man's place and using what they built to benefit from. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. SOL, stay away from toxic men and their fans. Absolutely. I never have to worry about housing because I live rent-free in plenty of folks' minds. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. Black men paid those women to come for black men. Take burning your cape seriously. Actually do it. Uh-huh. Never stay on a channel that attacks. Mm. I know that's right. I know that's right. Don't beg anyone to love you. Mm -hmm. Trust your own intuition. They will double back to your very conclusion later after ridiculing you. You know that's right. Listen, that's why I just sit back and wait. Just watch the low-hanging fruit. Don't eat. Mm-hmm. Don't support those who don't support you. Mm-hmm. Appreciate, wait, appreciate when the trash is being taken out. Love yourself. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's go ahead and check the last apples. And then after that, we're going to be coming right back in. So text notification squad, just, just, just ready yourself to get your text because you know why we're coming back. All right. Let's check, let's check the last remaining apples. It looks like, hold on. Oh, wow, there's a lot. Okay. L sends 111 and says, I'm flabbergasted at how stupid R is. I, I don't understand. Well, you know, listen, you'll probably get more clarity when when we um we'll probably get more, you could probably get more clarity once we come back in. Five dollars. Some of y'all still subscribe to Phil Wow. Well, look, everybody has a right to subscribe to who they subscribe to. Natasha sends five dollars and says, That's my art. It is. It's all getting balanced out. Tell them, get. <laughs> I know that's right. Christine sends a doll and says, black men are embarrassing. We'll travel for P. But you know what? The, the deviancy of, of those type of activities is not really about the P. It's about a lot of other things. It's about the power. It's about the having control over another person. It's about the degradation and feeling you know, some shot in for it from another person being denigrated. Like, for example, this person went overseas and not only did he give somebody money to have intercourse with him, but then he also wanted to degrade her for his audience as well. So there's that as well. And then says, but complain about child support. Exactly. You know, it's like you always wanted to have intercourse, always wanted to have unprotected intercourse, but then getting upset when intercourse creates children. <sighs> Claire sends a dollar and says, just upped it to 16, having a baby boom crisis. Oh my God, that many pregnant 12 year olds. This is grotesque. Renata sends a dollar and says, a PP bro got drugged and robbed in Colombia. I saw that, but you know, there's so many stories, it's hard to cover them all. It's hard to cover them all. Ashley sends $1.50 for love. PJM sends $2 for love. Aisha sends a dollar. And Vanessa sends 
two dollars of apple stock let me accept this apple stock thank you i appreciate that all right that'll come in tomorrow during business hours and crystal sends five dollars thank you so if you send an apple after i'm off air i'll just get it after you're off uh, after we're off air and then i'll just send you a um a, a, an emoji bag just to respond so let me go ahead and give you all the self-love lesson that i learned from today's video right so go out there and love one another most importantly love yourself make sure that you're subscribed like i said we're coming right back and the self-love lesson that i learned from today's video you know really was about the importance of sisterhood the importance of regarding women with a certain amount of respect especially when there's a man in between you know we don't have to agree with every woman we don't have to like every woman but to actively be out there battling women for men don't do it to yourself listen to the women of a particular culture another self-love lesson that i learned from today's video is really just about you know there's some it's like everybody has a different point of view like i was listening to that guy with the smug look on his face talking about yeah you gotta make them beg you this that, and the other and he has a right to have his point of view just let him stay over there with his point of view one of the things that I learned is that there's a lot of different types of people with different ideals. Let your vibe attract your tribe. Because if one of the things that you notice is that Babushka, Helga, and Joanne are fighting, right? So it's like, look at the pattern. They can look at the patterns of those men and how first they started fighting other women with those men in the middle. Now they're fighting each other with the men in the middle. Then, you know, they'll be fighting themselves with the men in the middle. And it's like, look at the patterns. This is the one thing that I implore because people are, because you know, one of the things that I learned from being in this kerfuffle recently with another content creator is that people who have some of these diagnoses or that you can imagine have some of these diagnoses who exhibit characteristics of diagnoses. That some of these people are very charming and that it is difficult to tell who the perpetrator is, who the liar is. It's difficult to tell because there are people like I'm charming, right? I'm a very likable, engaging person, right? And this other person is apparently very charming as well, right? But this other person plays the victim. This other person has a history of, of degeneracy, a history of violence, a history of forgery, right? The biggest thing that people can say about me is that I did not collaborate with people whom I once collaborated with but once we decided to go our separate ways, we went our separate ways and I went my separate ways clean. Mina mentioned nobody niam, mina business. I don't talk bad about people in public, the calling them by name, saying who did this and all do that to no other woman. Mm -mm. Unless, you know, like with the case of this degenerate, how I felt that it was important to put this information out there so that people can see and know who was in our midst perpetrating a fraud, right? Look at the patterns. Interview people. Talk to people who know these people. And find out. Look a person eye to eye. And don't take one person's word for it. Look at the patterns. What is the pattern? This is part of the reason that we're about to go pull this person's docket and talk about it live right now so that people can see what is the habituation, the habitual patterns of some of these people who are getting their passports. It's not just him. It's not just him. I have received information about several passport bros with long 
history of criminology. It's like there is a in the in the the in the like there the derelict behavior permeates into many different facets of life. And I once hung out with this guy who was a cop, right? And one of the things that he told me was part of the reason that they pull people over for running stop signs and running stop lights and speeding and all that other stuff. I need to plug up my phone. One of the reasons he said one of the reasons that they pull people over for that is because many of these people have patterns of criminology, patterns of criminal behavior. And so when you pick a person up, like like a lot of these people who got folks in, in, in garbage bags, duct taped in their trunk, got pulled over on speeding or got pulled over on illegal turn or got pulled over on something different. Who was it? Who was it? Ah, the guy that we covered. The one who took out his gun and bucked shots at the children, the snowball shooter. Just look in my, my video, right? Dereliction is a different word. Dereliction is when you abscond or you give up your, your responsibilities to a duty, when you're not able to fulfill a duty. So being a derelict and derelict behavior is different than dereliction. So just look up the word. If I'm wrong, correct me in the comments. But that, that snowball shooter had he was driving without license driving without insurance he got picked up for like tail lights or something like that or speeding something arbitrary and then they found the gun that he had shot children who were throwing snowballs they found the gun in his car so a lot of these people have patterns so i want you to look at the patterns and on that note i will see you all in the next video remember text notification squad you're about to get your text right now Go out there and love one another. Most importantly, love yourself. Tanya TKO, and I am out. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You know what? Let's get let's get a wine on. Let's get let's go out with a wine. Let's get this. Hey, 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 hey. I will see you all later. Thank you all so much for coming out. Hey. <laughs>